Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of ACC Live. Uh, my name is Christian Raymond. I'm the department chair and a professor of radio, television, film, and I am fortunate enough to be here with... Hi, everybody. My name is Juan Avalos. Uh, I am an alumni of the Film and Emerging Media Production Program at uh, ACC, part of the RTF program, and super excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Great. So... So today we're going to be talking about ACC TV. We're going to be talking about radio, television, film. We're going to be talking about a show that Juan has been profiled <laughs> on. And and first off, just we're going to talk a little bit about RTF. And so in our program, we have a lot of options. We have streaming TV degree. We have a film degree. We have creative podcasting and event videography and producing. So Juan, when you started out, how how did you decide like what path you're going to take, and 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 if you could talk a little bit about your journey through RTF? Yeah, of course. Um, so I actually ran into the ACC program, the RTF program, kind of like out of nowhere. Um, when I first moved back to Texas, I was looking at some options, and at first I was like, oh, I'll just go to a master's program because I got my bachelor's before I can go to master's straight in, and. I crash and burn really bad. Obviously, I didn't have experience. I didn't have anything. So I pivot to figure out, okay, what's the next step that can teach me what I need to know as fast as possible with the best resources available. And an ad came through for the RTF program at ACC, and I looked into it, and um, specifically the film and emerging media production program. And I knew after going through it, like the syllabus and look, uh, look at some research that that was the program I needed to be in to set myself up for success. So um, I really loved the aspect that it was a lot of hands-on experience, a lot of meaningful experience, small class sizes. Um, you know, they were just setting up in their new studio, so everything was going to be uh, ready to go, uh, or so we believed. Uh, there was some technical difficulties here and there, obviously, when something starts up, but it was a great learning opportunity because I got to even troubleshoot that and get provided me still great experience. So, um, yeah, I I didn't really know where to want to go. I still wanted, I thought I wanted to be a writer, and I quickly realized I didn't want to be a writer, which I know hurts Christian because he was my uh, writing professor <laughs> at at, uh, at the program. You found your path, Juan, and that's the most <laughs> important thing. That's that's the thing that counts the most, of course. But I learned a lot, and I think that's what I wanted to do—a program that just showed me all the aspects of production, all the aspects of the film industry, and provided me the information that I never knew I needed to know. Uh, and so the RTF program has been great and has really set me up even now as, I've, as I graduated um, this last December, continue providing me opportunities even moving forward. So it's a great program. Great. So can you talk, what, I mean, what are some of the classes? So obviously writing wasn't your exact thing, <laughs> um, which is, you know, I, like I've always said in, in this business, in the media business, you know, being someone who's a generalist and also a specialist is such a great thing. Being, you know, really good at one thing and finding your niche. So, you know, what are some of the classes that, you know, that helped you do that and, and so forth? For sure. Um, I think it's two classes that really spoke to me as I was taking them. So um, the advanced editing class, as I took the regular editing class and the advanced editing class uh, taught by John Moore was incredibly eye opening to me. It showed me. Uh, my my analytical and creative brain combined into one there as I can able to tell the story and really as an editor, you're the last line of the fence for a film and to able to bring it out in its best way. And I really enjoyed that. It was like a puzzle and I love puzzles. I love Rubik's Cubes. I love stuff like that. And so that class really showed me a skill set that I didn't realize I had within me, but it came naturally. So um now, as I've moved out of the program, you know, I've taken an internship with Samsung as an in, as an editing intern, and ICC TV also as a, mostly as an editing intern as well. So that has been a great pro, a great class that taught me a lot of what I need to know and really put me ahead of the curve to comp compare to some other editors. Um, and the other class was um, the like the studio class that uh, ACC TV teaches. They teach you both the insights and outsides of how to run a studio. Uh, run cameras, run lights, run audio, be a floor manager, as well as working inside the technical booth, right? So cutting shows, you know, looking at all the screens, how do, how do you call a show together in a live setting? And that also was really impactful. ITA for that class, I really enjoyed it. I was in meetings with like uh, equipment reps coming and fix stuff. And I was like, hey, can I sit in? And it was super uh, informative. Right. And that has really set me up for success as well as now I'm an intern. Uh, at Rooster Teeth, the technical broadcast production intern, and that that 
that instruction um, that I got there was instrumental in my knowledge from both the technical standpoint and being able to operate in a live setting. Um, it was really cool for sure. And all the hands-on experience, I wouldn't have gotten it anywhere else, truly. That's great. So can you talk about that transition a little bit? So you're getting your graduation, you know, we have an internship class, portfolio class. Uh, how did you make that transition? I know you've talked about the internships a little bit, but how did you make that? And then, you know, how did those internships and are they, you know, building on, on your skill sets from, from, from graduating? For sure. Um, uh, yeah, I, um, as you know, you were, you were my internship professor. And so, um, when I got, um, into the program, I didn't really know again, I knew I had in the program. I didn't know what it looked afterwards. So like, I'll worry about that once I need to worry about that. And it came really quickly. And, um, the Samsung internship, I remember when I first looked at the program way before I applied, I saw that was like the coveted uh, internship. And I said, you know, if I can even become, uh, cause you have to get like recommended. It's like, if I can even get recommended for that or like aim for that, I'll call that like this whole program a success, like a step forward afterwards. Uh, and very much so as I was going through it, you know, you were very kind. And so some of my professors to recommend me for that internship. And I met with them and, you know, they, I, I told them I came from the program and they were very impressed that one, I was coming from this program with the much experience as I had. Um, and two that, um, I had already, you know, look at my editing work, they were like, you have a really good portfolio coming out of this program. And so um, it really set me up to, as I was finishing my time at ACCTV's um, RTF program, uh, the last semester I was working, you know, uh, full time at um, Samsung to as an editing, as an editing partner, uh, editing person for the most part, part of the editing team, but also worked in their uh, productions uh, team. So work on shooting interviews, getting footage, uh, working after effects, doing a lot of stuff too. So um, it was a really neat transition to uh, kind of introduce me what work outside of a school program looked like. And that opened up another door um, as I was going to and meeting more people to ACC, uh, ACC TV. And so back to ACC. <laughs> yeah, back to ACC. I couldn't run away from it. paid <laughs> opportunities, which is great, right? One that led you from the internship like one semester to full-time gig at Samsung and then back to a paid gig at ACC TV. Yeah. Um, and it was, they were both very different in their ways and I learned a lot. Um, but I knew also that I wanted to, I'm a very people oriented person as well. So I love editing. Yeah. It, it can just be very, you know, tough to be in a room by yourself or with a small group, you know, in the dark editing a lot. And ACC TV really said, Hey, like we have a position where you can do what you're doing still, you can still edit if that's something you like to do, but also do field shoots, do studio shoots, uh, continue to build upon your skill set that you've developed so far. And that was the next step for me. It's like, okay, I can still edit for them and I can now be part of the field team. And so I joined the field team and they took me on a lot of awesome shoots. Um, some of them, which, you know, I was a mere PA, right? You know, I got to start at the bottom sometime. And then uh, by the end of it, even now, it's like, hey, you are leading this shoot. Like, we got to get this done. Can you get it done? And so they really not a mere really... PA, right? PA, PA is very important position. Yeah, of course, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I, I don't mean to say mere is like the thing, but you know, you you can't walk into a set or a show and be like, I'm the new guy here. You got to listen yeah, to me. Exactly. You know, I got you got to right. put in your time. So right. I knew that going into it. Um, but yeah, it was they they really set me up to be like, if you want to learn on camera, I'll teach you on camera. If you want to learn on studio, we'll teach you on studio. Give you opportunities to expand your skill set. Uh, again, building upon those hands-on foundations that I knew. So it was really good to understand where I still had gaps, where I needed to continue learning, where my mastery was showing, where I can continue honing it. Um, and ACTB has been a great place to to continue learning. That's, I think, what it was. It's a safe space to make mistakes in the best way, uh, learn from them and adapt and move forward and apply it to the next gig. You know, that's great. You know, an ACCTV, which is the production branch, Channel 19 at, at the college, and they produce a ton of original content and RTF students train in our program, go to ACC TV, get paid gigs, great experience there. And also produce a show called A Day in the Life, which is an amazing show which profiles different um, departments. So they've done profiles like for say about a on a nursing student, following a nursing student around and their experience going through the program. And of course, this year they did a, a profile of, of Yuan in, in their directing class. So can you talk just about that experience? Because it's it was very meta and I'm sure, yeah. 
It was. Um, and when I first, you know, like you said, it's like a film within a film, a story within a story, um, something that I was very concerned about going into it. But um, no, it was a great experience. I don't think I think it just continued to add to the it was like the cherry on top for me on the thing I got to. Um, that's how I kind of got it started with ACTV. They approached me. It's like, hey, we want to cover you in this. I said something you're open to. I said, absolutely. I think it'll be awesome. Um, and so they cover my uh, final project for my directing class in which we had to write or come up with an idea, write, produce, direct, edit, all the gamut through directing. And um, I didn't realize or I didn't know I wanted to direct. I just kind of took it. I was like, well, everybody has to take it. Um, everybody has to learn how to be a director just so you understand depending where you're going to come from. Uh, but it was an incredibly eye-opening experience to uh, put yourself in the shoes of the director to really understand what matters in a story, uh, how you deal with all the issues going from development to post-production and marketing and uh, all this stuff. And um, the, having the ACC TV crew uh, kind of going through that even made it even more um, important to me. It made us like, oh, like I actually have to tell them my process, understand, like, am I learning the things correctly? So I, as they're doing the thing, it shows that I actually know what I'm talking about and I'm learning it. And so um, it was great to have them there when we did our walkthrough in class and work with my crew, my my classmates as my crew members and have them there as well to, you know, the day of the shoots, all, all hands on deck kind of a thing situation and them covering everything as well. So I think they did a really good job of, uh, you know, uh, identifying the dramatic moments uh, to as well as <laughs> identifying the core of the story. Uh, I sent the link to a couple of my friends this week. I said aired and premiered and we watched it together and I got texts like, Hey, like I didn't really realize it was going to be that emotional. Like I cried when y'all cried. Um, I didn't know the story. Like they knew kind of what was going through, but seeing that inside eyes essentially going through it, I think it, it makes people realize how much more goes into just a movie. It's like, Oh, this movie comes out this day. It's like, there's so much work and it takes so many people, um, to give your their heart and soul to show your heart and soul in your project. That is just incredible. Right. I think that's, you know, what's amazing about your project. And I think what's really important to the program is, you know, teaching someone how to tap and cultivate their own authentic voice as, as a creator. And that, I think that, I mean, that really comes across in your film. I think the, the day in the life really uh, episode captured that dramatically. <laughs> right. So all right, so uh, we're gonna turn to some questions and let's see, uh, first question, um, let's see is, um, so Juan, do you keep in touch with uh, any of your fellow graduates? And um, if so, um, how do you do it? And what kinds of things are you up to? Yeah, for sure, uh, absolutely I do. Uh, we bonded together through that program. So it's it's a great experience to have somebody um, it's just a great feeling having somebody that has gone through where you've gone and, and kind of come out of it and continue having a great relationship. So I still work with people that I've graduated with, uh, or even current students that are still there. Like, uh, we have a really strong sense of like, um, com commitment to the people that are coming after us and try to help us lift as we climb kind of a way. Um, it can get crazy with everything that's going on, but we try to make an effort for that. So, um, I currently, as I'm graduating, I still produce projects on, this, on the side. So small short films. And I'm working with uh, my director, is someone from the program, my script supervisor from the program, my direct, uh, uh, my DP is somebody from the program. Uh, we try to bring crew, uh, current students to come and get experience on our sets. And so we do try to stay together for as much as we can. Um, we all have, we all understand that it's a business, it's a business about people. It's uh, not the other way around. It's not a people business. It's a business about people and helping connect, have those bridges and helping connect each other to help each other tell our stories is something that we all really care about. And so as we're moving forward, that's a focus for us. And currently, like I said, um, you know, we we all went into this process and the process like, let's get into festivals. And so a couple of the pro, uh, short films that we produce together have started getting some small success in small festivals here in Austin. And we actually uh, played in one two weekends ago where we won two awards. We won the most vibrant award. Thank you. Two applause uh, and... track. <laughs> I, I should be hitting that button. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We won the most vibrant award uh, and the audience choice award, which it's one of the most important ones. So which uh, means a lot. And then we play again in a festival next week, next weekend. And we're still waiting for more. And I know that that's a goal for a lot of us coming to it. It's like, we got to start going to festivals, networking, connecting to each other. And even if I, we go to a festival 
I know I've talked to someone that's like, hey, like I'm looking for a, 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 a production designer. It's like, I have a friend that's awesome at production designing. Here's their contact information. And people have reached out to me. It's like, hey, this person's looking for a producer. Are you available? Stuff like that. So it's been great as we move from students to alumni to continue having those connections with them. Right. And it's such an important part of our field to do that. And so many filmmakers come up and work with the and, and media creators in general, work with people that they met and connected with in school. So um, so that's great to hear. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. So I think uh, we need to wrap this episode up. So, um, you know, from the RTF department, want to want to thank thanks everyone for for listening and thank you on for 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 joining me and it's of course always great to see you yeah thank you so much for having me it truly means a lot to uh all the people involved over this last couple of years to tell my story and continue doing it and it's an incredible pleasure i'm humbled uh to be here so thank you all everybody for watching and i hope you have a great day yeah thank you one again thanks everyone <laughs>